The conversation on this Monday with Emily Swecker, the Director of Development and Communications over the Charlottesville Albemarle SPCA. We love when doggies and cats get adopted, but so not everyone's able to do that or not sure they want to do it. And fostering, we've talked about before, is always a great option. Yes, it is. So our foster program is something that I could talk about all day. There are so many benefits to it, but um, if you haven't ever fostered an animal, it's so rewarding, not just for that pet, but also for you. And our fosters play a huge role in finding our pets their forever homes. So we had a really great success story. It was a dog named Dodger who came into our shelter last May and he was underweight. He was struggling to put on weight at the shelter, and so we knew we needed to send him to a foster home, and they helped him put on about 20 healthy pounds. They advocated for him. They marketed him. They had his own Facebook account, took him to adoption events, and in the end, we're able to find him a wonderful home at an event just a couple of weeks ago. So it is really a life-changing experience for these animals. And we have, you know, not just adult dogs, adult cats, puppies, kittens, small animals, whatever it is you're looking for, we would love to talk to you about it and send you home with an animal. He looks so comfy and peaceful there. He does, he? yes. <laughs> All right, fostering is always great. Let's talk about, too, another great option is you can take an animal out, you know, g give them a day on the town. Yeah, so if you don't have, uh, you know, time to commit maybe two weeks or more to foster an animal, it's a great alternative to take a dog out on a Fido field trip. So that just requires a couple of hours, any free time you have. Um, it's a really simple process, but it's hugely beneficial to our dogs as well. I love this photo of Poppy Seed <laughs> because she is the sweetest dog. This is her on a recent Fido field trip where she just got to relax. You know, it's not like you need a jam packed day where you're going to the park and going for a hike and doing all these things. Poppy Seed is a little uncomfortable around other dogs, so she's very sensitive and hearing dogs bark all day can make her upset. So just something as simple as giving her a nice, quiet couch to lay on was just such a great day for her. Our pictures this week seem to have a theme between Dodger and Poppy Seed. They're very chill. Yes, they are. <laughs> it's nice to see. All right, let's have a couple of animals that are definitely up for adoption and looking for homes. Hooch and Simon says. Yes, so both of them are seniors. I really wanted to highlight them today. Hooch is right around 11 years old, and he is just an absolute sweetheart. He's happy to be wherever you are, whether that's sitting on the couch, on a walk, on a car ride. He's just thankful to be a part of your pack. And he just loves laying in the sun, rolling around in the grass, super low maintenance is what's great about seniors. Um, he also really likes kids and cats. So if you have either of those in your home, Hooch would be a great addition. You looked at me when you said super seniors. And, yeah. <laughs> um, and Simon says as well, ready yes. to find a home. Yes, so Simon says also a senior. Um, he's right around 10 years old. He's obviously a beautiful Siamese. He has the brightest blue eyes. He's really stunning, but he loves being brushed, petted, loved on. We'll chirp to let you know how happy he is. And we think he would do well with another calm, older cat if you have one in your house as well. So, All right, so let's find homes for Hooch and Simon Says this yes. week. Emily, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Casey?